What's up everybody and welcome to the Never Empty Bottle. I am Tyler still and today we're kind of shooting another one of those informal videos because it's celebration day again. <laughs> so what we're celebrating today is 250 subscribers. So I know I said I think I was going to celebrate my 200 but I wasn't paying attention. 200 came and 200 went. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to celebrate 250. It's very exciting. Again, I appreciate so much you people coming over to the channel, watching, taking the time every week to comment, view the videos, say nice things or say not nice things, which, whichever your poison is. But so today what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to make an inception bomb. What's an inception bomb? I, this is something I saw when the movie came out. For those of you who don't know, Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy. Um, great movie, very hard to follow if you're not paying attention though, I will tell you that. Great movie though. Um, so basically the concept of the movie is they, it's a dream within a dream within a dream. So Inception bomb, same concept. We're gonna do a shot within a bomb within a bomb. So again, I do not promote binge drinking, but I am going to show you the most efficient way to binge drink here. So do as I say, not as I do here, but let's go ahead and let's construct this bad boy. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I'm gonna do this. Um, again, the best part about this is you can personalize it however you want. So that's what I think I liked about this the most is I can make whatever bombs or constructs that I want here. Um, so first thing, we gotta start with the original shot here. So the first thing I'm gonna take, I wanna start with something, something bold, something big. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with a shot of Reposado tequila is what I'm gonna shoot first. So we're gonna go ahead and you will see as I do this, um, I'm not just gonna take them in a straight line here. I'm gonna construct the inception bomb. And as I pull one, it creates another. Then I pull the next one, it creates. So it should be pretty sweet. I've never done it before, so let's see how it works. But so, okay, tequila is what I'm gonna do first. Um, and then for this guy, what did we say it was gonna be? Melon, a melon bomb. A melon, a melon bomb? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was melon liqueur. Mm -hmm. So half, half a shot of Midori here. And then vodka, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vodka, which we can go with any vodka we want here. So I got some good old five o'clock vodka, not the, uh, not the classiest brand, but it's vodka, who cares? Um, so you don't need to float it, you just kinda, does it float though? Nah, nah. But let's, uh, okay, so vodka and then that falls, that's gonna fall into our pineapple juice. So that's gonna create the melon ball bomb. The, the melon bomb, whatever we wanna call it, but, ooh, damn. So go ahead and give that a good shake. Is that, is that high enough? Eh. It should work, that should be fine. Okay, so that's gonna create the melon ball. So then the last one we're gonna do is the lunch pail. Lunch box. Lunch box. <laughs> <laughs> lunch pail, lunch box, whatever. So I've seen a couple of different ways to make this, uh, the lunch the lunch box. I've seen a couple, a couple, couple of different ways to make this. So I know the main component is you gotta go orange juice. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is a vase. Uh, in a few of my videos ago, I did the Irish wake and yes, that is a vase. And for those of you maybe throwing some shade or some judgment out there, Anything's a drinking glass if you drink out of it. So drink out of a fishbowl, it's a glass. I don't care. So this is the second vase I've drank out of though in like three weeks. So that might say something as well. Next, you have to have a uh, beer, which, get my thing here. Um, I'm just doing Boulevard uh, unfiltered wheat beer. I love Boulevard. We actually, we went to the brewery, you remember? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of liquid. Yikes. Ooh. Okay. But now we have to, okay, so the shot was, so usually you don't put a shot within this, the bomb's just supposed to be able to fall down, but these are plastic cups because I don't want to break my nice glassware. So I need a shot in here to weigh it down, to fall, which, uh, maybe a little more beer. That's almost a full freaking beer, oh my God. 
Um, so the shot glass was for a lunchbox. Southern Comfort, you said. So before I before I do the SoCo, actually, it's gonna be amaretto, which is I think the main component. Because I think some people do it without and with with and without the Southern Comfort. So we're gonna go amaretto here. I'm just gonna empty it. Cause. Oh, that's so sad. I love my amaretto people. It's so freaking good. Luckily, I bought a new bottle. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the shot glass in. And then we're, I probably should have filled the shot glass before I put it in. Okay, so, you know, like I said, do as I say, not as I do. Perfect. All right, so that worked out. So we have about half a shot glass of Southern Comfort. A shot of amaretto that's gonna fall into the orange juice and beer concoction here. Okay, that was the hardest part. So now we just have to construct it, I think. Okay, so let's go with this in the middle. We're gonna take our two cups and balance them like so. So those are balancing like so. And actually, I kinda want this one to be, able, there we go, perfect. So now we're gonna take our two shot glasses here and we're gonna put them on this guy. Oh, it's so, cause I filled it up too much. This is hard. Oh, perfect. Okay, I hope you all can kind of see what I'm doing here now. So pull this one, creates the melon bomb. Pull that one, creates the lunch box. Do we see? I am very nervous about all this. I am, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, whew. Gotta get your hands ready a little bit. Okay, um, go ahead and take your, take your votes, take your guess whether I'm gonna be able to do this. Um, I'll go ahead and give you like three seconds. For those of you betting against me, Kiss my ass, just kidding, love you. Um, okay, let's do this, here we go. Tequila first. This is for the 250 people that have been tuning in every week to watch my channel, I love you guys. Here we go, tequila first, and I'm gonna hold on to the, as I go, I'm gonna hold on to the glasses so it doesn't freaking rip it down and shoot. So, okay, here we go, tequila first. Oh, I was afraid that was gonna happen. Okay, melon ball done. Liquid. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah, that I'm glad that's what makes you proud of me. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Let's do a recap here. What just happened? The tequila just kicks you right in the old bah! Just right between the legs and says, yeah, I'm here. But actually that's kind of nice because it just like right away all your senses burns you. That melon ball uh, bomb, delicious. That was truly delicious. Vodka, melon liqueur, and pineapple juice works very well together. So that though was truly tasty. But by the time I finished that, I knew that, so if you saw I, what I was sprayed up, the weight didn't uh, push it down. So if you do with glass, it's not gonna be a problem, but also you run the risk of breaking your glassware. So I had to push it down. Once I push it down, that was almost, we'll say 10, 11 ounces worth of beer and like five, six ounces worth of uh, orange juice. 
on top of the however much alcohol I had in there, I was struggling there at the end. <clears throat> oh, yuck. I was struggling there at the end, so if, as you could see. Um, when I celebrated the 100, I did the rainbow shots, and everyone was like, oh, I love the rainbow shots, but you should have showed us like drinking them. Like We wanted to see you like throwing them back. So this is me making it up to you guys. Uh, oh, babe, what did you think? How did I do? Yeah, I am so impressed right now. Okay. I wasn't yeah. sure if you were gonna be alive at the oh, end, but. A lot of liquid. Oh win. my goodness. All right, so I I'm hope you guys right enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every week. I appreciate it. Next celebration is gonna be 500. So I'm gonna wait until we get to 500. Um, that's gonna be another big one for us. Give me some suggestions on uh, my celebrations. I've had a couple already, people throwing some ideas out there, and I love them so i any more so, uh, suggestions on things like this um challenges things maybe i've never tried before uh, let me hear them i'd love to hear it uh i think i'm gonna take a nap now holy god that luckily it's saturday so i have i have time to recover from this but again thank you guys so much i will see you in the next one love you